Hello everybody and welcome to day 20 of my beginner sewing course. Sorry, my cat wants, my cat wants temptations. Oh my god. I think he's splashing you guys. Oh, I'm fine. You won't have more Um, okay. So what we're doing today is a circle skirt. Um, I've seen a lot of tutorials out there and people are like, um, you need to calculate uh, the distance from the earth to the moon and blah, 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 blah. And it's like, nah, you don't have to do all that. What you can do is just um, <laughs> go on Mood Fabrics, circle skirt calculator, and all you have to do is input your measurements and it's gonna give you like exactly what you need. So as you can see here, um, it says preferred unit of measure, inches or centimeters. I'm gonna use inches even though I'm Canadian just because I'm used to it in sewing. Uh, choose desired length, mini, just because like it's, it's a tutorial, I don't wanna waste fabric. And the skirt fullness. So there are four um, skirt fullness, uh, skirt sizes, four types of fullness. <laughs> um, there's quarter, half, three quarters, and full. The ones I've used in the past are half and full. Um, and then you need to input your waist measurement. I'm going to input 27 because that's my waist measurement. And then calculate yardage. Um, I'm pretty sure that this already includes the seam allowance, which is half an inch, but I'm gonna make sure. Um, so here it says my waist radius needs to be 7.96. I'm gonna explain what that is later. Uh, my fabric length 1.33 yards and fabric width 45.92 inches. So it tells you exactly how to do it and there's even like pictures of how you need to fold your fabric. So like you don't need to do math, right? You can just use this and it's so much easier and I don't know like why people don't mention it more because I've never done the math for a circle skirt. Like there's no need. So yeah, it's very simple. Uh, let's get into it. Before you start cutting woven fabrics, you want to make sure that the edge of your fabric is straight. Cutting it with scissors won't be enough. What you want to do is make a little cut at the bottom near the edge and tear it. This will make sure that the crosswise grain is straight. Let's take a look at this image here. It shows us exactly how to place our fabric. So you start out with a rectangle and then you take one edge and fold it towards its opposite side, aligning the two edges together. This makes it so that on one side there's a fold and on the other side, that's perpendicular to that last one. There are two layers, but no fold. Then you can see how the red line shows the radius. The radius is your waist. So right now it looks tiny, but once we cut the fabric, it'll make a half circle. That will be the total of your waist measurement. In this case, that's 27. So the circle skirt calculator gave us a radius of 7.96. You're gonna measure 7.96, always starting from this corner. So you'll mark down dots from the folded edge to the double edge fabric or the double fabric edge. This will give you a curve. Once you're done with that first curve, you're going to choose the length of your skirt. I chose a length of 11 since this is just practice. Now you're basically just repeating the same process you just did, but instead of the starting point being the corner, the starting point will be all the dots you just drew for the radius. So once again, mark down all the dots uh, from the folded edge to the double fabric edge. Let's see what it looks like on my fabric. Take the raw edge of your fabric and fold it, making sure the two salvage edges meet. You can pin the two layers of fabric together to make sure nothing moves. Grab your measuring tape and place it at the corner between the folded edge and the double fabric edge. Mark down the dots all the way around. Now place your measuring tape on the curve you just drew and mark down at the desired skirt length. The new curve should look exactly the same as the first curve, just bigger. Now you can grab your scissors and cut out the two curves and you'll be left with a half circle skirt and it should fit around your waist. Okay, let's move on to the quarter circle skirt. The new waist radius is 15.92. 
This time, the way you're supposed to fold the fabric is different, so grab the bottom corner of your fabric and place it towards the top of the fabric while ensuring that the raw edge and top salvage are perfectly aligned. Pin all three corners to keep the fabric in place and you'll get a right triangle. Now you have three angles. One is a 90 degree angle and the other two are 45 degree angles. Start at either one of the two 45 degree angles and repeat the process from before. The 45 degree angle is your new starting point. In my case, the radius is 15.92, so I'll measure 15.92 from that starting point all the way across. Once you're done with the radius, um, you move on to the length of the skirt, so I chose a length of 11 again, so I marked those points from the folded edge to the raw edge. Let's move on to the three quarter circle skirt. Here I'm not actually gonna cut the fabric, but I will fold it and mark it to show you how it's done. So as you can see here, we want the fabric to be on the fold on two sides instead of just one this time. But the rest is the same and this technique is very similar to the half circle skirt. Start by folding the fabric once like you did for the half circle skirt and then fold one of the unfolded edges toward the other. This will create two perpendicular folds. Now grab your measuring tape and mark down your radius from the corner, which will be your starting point. Once you've created your curve, mark down the length of the skirt by using the first curve as your new starting point. Cut the two curves and you'll be left with a donut. If you stop here, you're actually left with a full circle skirt and you can always just cut a line from the two circles if you want to install a zipper. But if you want to make the quarter circle skirt, you'll have to cut out a piece of that donut, like such. All right, everyone, we are done with our circle skirts. Um, make sure you keep at least two of them because in the next couple of videos, we're going to be learning how to install an invisible zipper and an elastic waistband. Um, I do suggest though, uh, practicing by making all four uh, types of fullness. Um, although you don't have to cut them out, you can just do what I did. So mark it out with chalk and then that kind of practices you. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Just keep practicing, keep practicing that and I will see you tomorrow.